What's going on guys? Drigast here and welcome back to another episode of BeamNG Drive. Today we're back on Endless Highway. We're gonna try and do some crashing today. I mean, it is BeamNG after all, but uh, yeah, I wanted to try kind of some realistic crashes, something we haven't done in a long time. We're not gonna focus on any sort of mods today. We're just gonna have some fun at doing some crashes. So for our first one, I got kind of like this makeshift, you know, emergency that happened. Uh, we have a bus that has flipped. Children died. It was awful, trust me. Uh, so yes, we got a little bit of a car pile up here as well as some sheriffs on the scene of the accident. And I figured it'd be fun to just try and throw a few things at it and see what happens. So starting off with, we got, I believe this is the Broccoli Grand. This is the drag edition. We're starting off pre- Oh, Jesus, okay. We're starting off pretty crazy here. Usually we go slow and then ramp it up a little bit. I figured it'd be fun to start off strong here with a drag racer. So this should get up to a decent speed here. Well, yeah, obviously we're already at 330 kilometers an hour. Uh, hopefully I can keep this thing straight. It is a little squirrely, but yes, we pretty much maxed this thing out, and here comes the actual people. I'm not even gonna try and hit the brakes here. We're just gonna have a good time going right through, and quite literally everybody. All right, well, I think the sheriff's dead at least, and, uh, ooh, yeah, there we go. We got some fire as well. That's looking fantastic, and, uh, yeah, not much left to this car. <laughs> My god! The momentum in this car for it to just keep spinning this thing is pretty damn crazy. So yeah, first one, we actually missed pretty much the whole pile up back there and just hit the sheriff. All right, pretty much blew my engine trying to get here once again. Oh, wow, we actually uh, push that bus way out of the way here. I'm actually going to go for the cars, I think. So we're going to swerve a little bit this way. I wanted to try once more because, well, we didn't hit too many things on the first one. That's a little more like it. Obviously, we're starting off strong now. This guy is going way too freaking fast. And we have brought a couple cars along with us. So, oh man, this there's just fire everywhere, man. I don't think I've seen this much fire in BeamNG. Ah, uh, does it still work? That's the question. No, it does not. There's actually another very similar car here. Same color as mine. It's actually formed into one. Okay, I'm getting a little hot here, so we're going to reset all this. And let's try something maybe a little bigger, but obviously slower. We, 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 we definitely uh, saw that drag racers can do a lot of damage. Um, okay, uh, I kind of need wheels game, but you know what? Fuck it, we'll try it. This is the Gavril Roamer. This is the Storm Chasing Edition. Uh, hence why it's got some lights on it. I don't, I don't know why we don't have, uh, any treads on our tires, but, uh, it's actually, it somehow seems to actually have treads on it. I might be crazy, but I'm not, like, spinning out or anything. I would assume if I was on rims, I would be spinning out by now. Mind you, my god, we are going fast in this thing. 300 kilometers an hour, and we're not even close to being there yet, so this is going to, uh, be probably a really good hit as well. I guess Storm Chaser editions of cars got a lot of horsepower in them. All right, 350 kilometers an hour without wheels, and I feel like we're going a lot slower this time. I might be crazy, but uh, we're supposed to be doing like the same speed here. It just feels a lot slower. Let's try and hit the pedo van a little bit. By the way, I did add a pedo van. Probably the, a bad idea to be adding it on this one, considering, you know, it's a school bus that flipped over, but I thought it was pretty funny. All right, so there we go. We hit it. Ooh, it yeah, we were definitely not going that fast. I don't care what my speedometer says. Uh, we definitely did a lot less damage that time. Alright, a car we haven't seen in a while, the ETK 800 series. Now, we got the uh, PC Master Race version, of course, considering we are the PC Master Race. Uh, yeah, I, I, I tend to just download a shitload of mods in this game, and I don't remember what I download, so I get weird things like this every now and then that I totally forget I have. PC Master Race Edition, gotta love it. What does it say on the side? St Oh shit, okay, I better- Oh god! Oh god, I was trying to read the side! Okay, I- Oh, oh, okay, I broke the game. Sweet. Uh, yep, definitely broke the game. <laughs> Wait a second, I, I gotta- What the fuck happened to you? My god! Well, clearly the PC Master Race was a little bit too much for this one. Uh, yeah, I really wish we could see some of that damage. We're gonna have to obviously try again here because, uh, yeah. Wh Ow, that hurt my ears. And did we- we, are, are we okay now? Where did my car exactly go? Let, let, let's go find it. Oh, here it is. 
I guess we're back at the start. For the record, it says, may our frame rates be high and our temperatures low. That's what I was trying to read before I broke the game. All right, let's try this again. We're gonna go in nice slow motion this time. That way we don't break the game. I feel like if you put it in slow motion, it allows the uh, game to actually process and usually stuff like that doesn't happen. So let's hope we can do it this time. Uh, wow, we're gonna hit 300 kilometers an hour again. We got some fast cars today, guys. I, I usually start off a lot slower. All right, let's do, uh, you know what, let's spit out here, maybe. There we go. And slow it down. Okay, I'm freaking out. I don't know what's going on. We're going sideways. Oh, this poor red car. Every time, that's the one that gets demolished. Oh, that's a much better crash, though. I definitely like this spinning out more. There we go. We flipped over the other car. I mean, we just took out one, two, three, four cars. I mean, we hit the bus a little bit, too, so that's pretty impressive. One car for four. All right, speed up time here. And, uh, let's check out some of this damage. So... Oh, wow. Look at that. That, that. that was some skills right there. Avoiding the PC Master Race like a boss with the Covette. All right, this guy's just, just trying to get away right now. Can I, can, I, can I drive this? Oh, yeah. Of course he can. Look at this little thing. All right, this car, we still haven't hit this one yet. I really like the uh, design on this one, by the way. Uh, these two are totally fine. This one, a little bit of a... Oh, no. I think that's part of another car. <laughs> the poor friend car. Is that engine working? Oh, yeah. Of course it is. Look at this thing. Ah, uh, yeah. It's not, it's, not, it's not really working, guys. <laughs> All right, something we haven't really done too much as of late is playing with the environment. If you don't know, BeamNG is awesome. You can play with the environment. You can pretty much play with everything in this game. So, for example, if you wanted to change the time of day, uh, you could do things like that. You could change the wind speed to, like, hurricane style winds, but uh, what I want to play with is obviously we're doing some crashes right now. I want to play with the gravity, so moon gravity is very, very light. We're going to... Oh, 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 God. Ow. This is way too finicky. Okay, we're going to do about... Halfway, so I think Earth is like 9.4. We'll do it at about 4, so it's going to be a little bit lighter than half the Earth's size here. Uh, obviously, I'm going to need to fix all my cars now, though, because we want to fly in a little bit there. So hopefully, this should give us enough grip to allow us to get up speed, but also make these cars light enough so they basically bounce around like bouncy balls. Uh, so we'll try that out. There we go. Reset that. I don't know why this car is inside that car, but everything should be good. All right, let's give her a go. See how we can do. I decided to use something heavy, but not necessarily fast, because I feel like this would just push them right out of the way, and I think it's going to be funny to watch. So, uh, thankfully, we're getting enough grip to get up speed here, so we're going to be able to go at a decent speed to hit these guys, and I think it's just going to be hilarious once we hit them. Here they come. We're going about 140 right now. Now, that's a really good speed for what we want to be doing here, so let's slow down. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to go for the pedal van this time. Maybe I can slide this a little bit sideways if we're lucky. Ah, uh, this is gonna be so cool, though. Half the weight of ordinary Earth, so these things should bounce right around. There we go, there goes one. Uh, we probably won't notice much until later on, <laughs> because these things are gonna go flying away, and bam, we hit the bus as well. Okay, let's speed it up a little bit here, and... Actually, it kinda looks like ordinary gravity, I'm surprised, but uh, definitely we pushed a lot more out of the way this time. All right, well, four wasn't enough, so let's make this... Oh, oh, God, this is so... Jesus Christ, this is really finicky, guys, so let's try two. Two should be, as you can see by that gas tank bouncing around right now, really freaking light. All right, I don't even know if we'll have enough grip to make it there, but we're going to try, damn it. So everything's reset. Uh, here we go. Can we... Can we oh, we're, we're actually getting it in gear, but we're already in gear four. That's not a good thing. Uh... You know what? Fuck it. We'll, we'll, we'll try it. We'll see how this does. All right. Most difficult part is to give this thing enough grip to change gears without just spinning out constantly. You can see I got it up to 100 at least, and I'm just I'm just feathering the throttle. I'm using about 20% right now, and that seems to be doing well. There we go. We hit over 100. All right. Maybe we should try full throttle now. Oh, God. This is so hard to drive, guys. There's, like, no weight to this thing, so it is going... Oh, God, all over the road. All right, we somehow made it here. We're going 140, so about as fast as before. This time, though, we're twice as light once again. So it should be like one-fourth Earth's weight. Oh, God, I, I had to let go of my controller for a second there to uh, slow down the game. And as you can see, we are going way right now. So I'm going to do a hard left, and hopefully we'll actually slide on, on this kind of sideways here. I don't think we're going to have enough time, though, no. Once again, we're going to annihilate that pedal van, though. Hopefully this time, they go a little further into the air. <laughs> I'm already flying as well, just by that little hit. So there we go. That that Covet is going to go so far. 
All right, really wish I did a little bit more of an accurate crash there, but let's uh, speed up time. Uh, we may as well just switch to this one because, look, I mean, look at how far we're going. This is great. And thankfully, well, I, I guess not really thankfully, but uh, considering we're so light, it doesn't even really damage it when it hits the ground. <laughs> well, we did make it back on the ground. This thing is not working very well, though. And we're coming up in a trophy truck. <laughs> Uh, I thought that would be a lot more funnier in my mind, but uh, yes, we got an RC car here. Clearly, didn't do too much damage. <laughs> All right, something a little more fun. We got a uh, sunburst with obviously a spiked ball in the back. Now this is a oh god, very fast sunburst. This is this is dangerous. This is very fucking dangerous. Okay. So first of all, we're gonna have to make it there, and then maybe we can actually utilize this thing. All right, we're coming up. Oh god, this is not good. This is not <laughs> Oh man, that is so difficult to drive with that heavy weight on the back. I mean, this thing is just lightened for speed. And uh, the fact that we even got here, I'm pretty damn impressed. And we took the hell out of that pedo van. All right, and from realistic crashes to incredibly incredible crashes, we're going to try top speed. With the rammer on the front here, this should be uh, pretty damn interesting. I'm going to make these things fly right out of my way. I'm going to try and go down the middle. Let's uh, slow down time so we can o try and aim this thing up. But yeah, hopefully we can let the right-handed guys go to the right, the left-handed guys go to the left, and I'm hoping we can make it all the way to that bus. We should have no problem at all with this heavy beast. At 156 kilometers an hour, that's pretty much max. There we go. Get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. Finally, we hit that car. Get rid of those two, and right into the bus. Mind you, I thought we would have a little bit more power. We didn't even break through that bus, but uh, yeah, we pushed everything out of our way. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of BeamNG Drive. I hope you guys enjoyed just some realistic crashes. It's something I've been wanting to do for a little while. Uh, yeah, if you guys let, like this, let me know in the comments below. Maybe we'll have some more of these scenarios. Maybe we'll have some chasing scenarios, things like that. Or would you prefer to see some of the new mods as well as the new maps that have been coming out? I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Let's go.